I started off with a different path than most people. Didn't have many mentors growing up at all. I was in a bar with, you know, 10 of my friends and we were laughing so hard. And I remember literally tilting my head back and I thought, wow, I've laughed at the same dumb stuff. And the next day I told my friend, I said, let's go to California, get in the car and, and just see the country. And we did. We, two days later, we jumped in a car and, and drove out to California. And we were gonna stay a week. And I stayed a lifetime. I talked about mentors and talked about how important they've been in my life. I told you I didn't have mentors growing up. Well, that changed because what I realized is surrounding myself with excellence, surrounding myself with people that made a difference in the community, that were rich in spirit, that had done amazing, amazing things, um, I wanted to know those type of people. And so over the years of my career, I surrounded myself with excellence. George Argeros, great mentor of mine. In 2007, I remember telling George, I said, George, it's just, there's no way out. And he said, son, I remember back in 1982, we owned the Seattle Mariners and there was a strike. And then at the same time, I owned Cal Airlines and they, the air traffic controllers were on strike. He goes, it was dark days. He says, but this too shall pass. 2008 became our greatest year. And I sat back with George and we had a breakfast, same exact table, same exact place. And he walked in and he, he pounds his fist. You don't understand how horrible this economy is, Glenn. This is horrible. And I just got done having my best year ever. And I looked at George and I said, George, this too shall pass. And I had all of my great mentors had been to the bottom and they didn't know how they were getting back up. And it was my turn, okay, to be at the bottom. And that's okay because everybody has to get there and everybody will get out of there. This is my turn now. I'm at the bottom. I can have this moment define me as either someone that's gonna cower in a corner or someone that's gonna fight back. Dave Whiting, he had a fantastic reputation. Everyone, everyone admired and spoke highly of him. And so I would always pick his brain. And what he told me were things like, you know, again, it's about integrity, it's about karma, it's about if you planted the seeds in your life and done a good thing, they will come back and you will be fine. So it was a very um, interesting time. So glad I went through it, never want to go through it again.